Okay, so for Fact Fluency Friday, today we are going to do some work together in our journals up here. Go ahead and let's write today's date, which is 11-20-20. That means it is November 20th, 2020. Okay? And for Fact Fluency Friday, we are going to draw a part-part whole map or a strip diagram, okay? So what I want you to do is up here, draw a rectangle like this. Then I want you to draw a line across and a line going down. This is very similar to our um, number bonds where we have our hole up here and then our two parts. Well, I'm going to give us a hole. I'm going to give us a part. We need to use a strategy to find the missing part. And then once we find that missing part, we are going to write our fact families, okay? So go ahead and pause if you need to. But let's go ahead and fill in our whole, okay? So this whole number, which our two parts combined to make, we're going to say is 14. One of our parts we know and we're going to, uh, let's say it's eight. Okay? So we know one of our parts. We need to find our missing part. Hmm. So what strategy can you use to find eight plus what equals 14? You can count up with dots to see um, how many more you need to get to 14. Or you can take 14 minus eight and see what's left strategy I want to use is to count up, okay? So if we know that one of our parts is 8, let's count up with dots in this area until we get to 14. So we have 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. How many dots did I add on? 6 dots. Great job. So our missing part is 6. So now we have a fact family. We, I want us to write our two addition sentences where we add both of our parts to equal our whole. And then I want us to write our two subtraction sentences where we start with our whole, take away a part, and it equals the missing part, okay? So um, go ahead and pause this video while you write your two addition and two subtraction sentences, and then we'll come back and we'll see if we're correct. All right, let's see how we did. So first we're going to add our two parts to equal our whole. So we would take 8 plus 6 equals 14. Well, then we would switch them, right? Because it doesn't matter which number comes first. They both equal 14. So then I could write 8. Oh, sorry, not 8. 6 plus 8 equals 14. Well, then I can write my subtraction sentences. And when we subtract, we start with the whole. So then I can write 14, take away 8. If I have 14 and I take away 8, what number do I get? 6. Great job. And then if I have 14 again and I take away 6, what does that equal? It equals 8. So give me a thumbs up or a check mark if you wrote, if you found that missing number with me and then wrote our fact family. Great job. Now go ahead and go on to the next slide to see what you're going to do to track your math data today.